Hello, my friends. May God bless you all. May the Holy Spirit enlighten each of you, open, clarify, reveal what needs to be revealed so that you may know how to discern the right choice and know the right choice. So yesterday we spoke about faith, the faith that has nothing to do with feelings, a faith that has to do with assurance and conviction. For example, we mentioned how many people watch a movie about Jesus and those images of Jesus hanging on the cross makes them cry and lament or oh, pour him, pour Jesus. And this is nonsense, my friend. Faith has nothing to do with feelings of the heart. Faith has nothing to do with pity or oh, poor heart. This doesn't resolve anybody's problem. So feeling does not resolve anybody's problems. Feelings only bring sensations. Whether good or bad, it's only sensations anyways. And combining with this idea of intelligent faith, when you read there in 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul says like this, look at this, while we do not look, so we don't pay attention, we do not pay attention, or we are not attentive to the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So when we base our lives on faith, when we live by faith, from faith to faith, which is the faith that pleases God, then we are not attentive to what our eyes are seeing. No, we pay more attention or we pay full attention to the things which are not seen. So we don't see the, the soul, the spirit, we see the things of the world. Remember when God said to Samuel the prophet when he went to choose or anoint David and Samuel even though he was a prophet, man of God, full of the Holy Spirit, he thought, he thought that the first son of Jesse would be the anointed one. He was good looking and tall. He had a good appearance and looked like a king. This is very nice, isn't it? Very nice. And then another one came also good looking and strong and muscled. And obviously, Samuel was deceived or deceived himself or I thought it, this was the one or that one and then God said, no. Man sees with the eyes, but I see with the heart. Man sees the appearance, but I see the heart. It's none of them. The one I chose are not these. And then Samuel asked Jesse, don't you have another son? And then Jesse said, oh yes, there's another little boy who is taking care of the sheep. Then bring him, please. I, I want to know him. We are not going to sit down and eat unless this boy comes home. And when David came back home, God said, you see, this is the one that I have chosen. This is the one I chose. It's not a muscled guy, it's a boy. God chooses according to our hearts. God chooses you according to your heart. Your heart either exudes the fragrance of Christ to life or it exudes a smell to death. You, my dear friend, and I, each and every one of us, are chosen by God, 
according to the essence, the fragrance that we exude from within our hearts. That's why God loves those whose heart are clean and sincere and pure and perfect. So sometimes you look at the person's exterior and you don't see anything excellent as Samuel thought, oh, this one is the one. And then God said, no, man sees with the physical eyes, but I see with the spiritual eyes. Those who are spiritual will see with spiritual eyes. Those who walk in faith, they believe in the invisible, believing in the impossible. That's what it is. Those who walk in faith, from faith to faith, and by faith that pleases God, they are not looking, they are not attentive or paying attention to the things which are temporary. Everything is temporary. Everything will cease. Everything will end. There won't be a stone left upon another. But those who have a divine vision, those who have the Holy Spirit, and they have, of course, the divine vision, and those who have this divine vision, they attend to what is eternal, to what does not cease ever, which is our eternal salvation. So sometimes you ask, come on, why haven't I received the, uh, the Holy Spirit? Oh, I have already asked and prayed and fasted, done the 21 days, and even more than 21 days, I fasted and fasted and so on, and I haven't received Him yet. So evaluate, my friend, your heart, because perhaps your heart is inflamed with grudges, inflamed with resentments, inflamed with jealousy, inflamed with lust, inflamed, as Peter says, full of eyes of adultery, adultery, the heart which is the soul, if it's not perfect before God, then it's left aside. It doesn't please Him. It doesn't exude the fragrance that God wants to, to smell through His people and His children. Think well, my dear friend. Think. Not looking at the things, not paying attention to the things which are seen. And sometimes you are there spending so much money with your appearance, spending money with your beauty. You invest in your beauty, the clothes. You invest and invest. You are so obsessed to fix your nose, to have big lips. You are so obsessed to have a smaller ears and better hair. Whatever it is, whatever is the thing that you see, it won't last. Not even as a seed left behind. What counts is to look at that which is eternal, because what's temporary will pass. You who have been following our work throughout these years in the ministry, it's been 58 years that we have been serving the Lord Jesus. And I had so much hair back then that people were jealous of it. And today, look at that, it's over. Everything in life is like this. Everything passes. Everything ceases. Everything ends. But those who do the will of the Father, 
which means those who look at the things which are eternal, this one is wise. These ones will conquer eternity because they did not lose focus of the things which are eternal. They will never lose their faith. They will never lose what the Lord Jesus has given them, which is the spirit of life, the spirit of faith. Think well about that. Everything passes, everything ceases, everything ends. However, those who live by faith, in the faith, and by faith, from faith to faith, will remain for all eternity. May God bless you all, and I see you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.